How to test safety devices of voice toil incinerator Sunflame OSV 360S AI. This video is re uploaded due to copyright claims. And if you are new in my channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Preparation to start Open DO valve to the main burner. Open DO valve to pilot burner or auxiliary burner. Make it sure that the return valve is set to DO. And then open the main DO valve. Open air valve for pilot burner, air mixing, and sensing tube. Switch on to running. Switch on the main burner and ignition burner. After purging is completed, waste oil incinerator will start firing. To test the flame failure alarm. Disconnect the flame sensor or flame eye during operation. Flame will stop. And then the alarm sounded. To reset, put back the flame eye. Stop the alarm and push the reset button. The next to be tested is ignition low pressure alarm. Reduce the oil pressure for main burner or to the pilot burner and the alarm sounded. To reset, Open the main burner valve or pilot burner valve, stop the alarm, and push the reset button. The next to be tested is source voltage low alarm. To test, remove the voltage sensor inside the panel board or you can reduce the voltage of the control circuit by a voltage adjuster and the low voltage alarm sounded. To reset, put back the voltage sensor or setting a voltage adjuster, stop the alarm, and push the reset button. The next alarm that we are going to test is draft fault alarm. To test, set off the trip switch of the thermal overload relay or shut off the air on the sensing tube. And the alarm sounded. To reset, push the reset button of the thermal overload relay, stop the alarm, and push the reset button. Now we are going to test the burner fault alarm. To test, set off the trip switch of the thermal overload relay of burner motor and the alarm sounded. To reset, push the reset button of the thermal overload relay of burner motor. Stop the alarm and push the reset button. The alarm to be tested is the waste oil temperature low. To test the alarm, switch on the waste oil if you are using MGO and the alarm sounded. Stop the alarm and push the reset button. This time we are going to test the gas overheat alarm. To test, simulate it by changing the setting value in the gas temperature controller. Set the parameter to E1 by pressing the power key. Press the arrow to the number that you are going to change the value. Press down arrow to lower the value and if the set value stop blinking, press the power key and the alarm sounded. Follow the same procedure to put back the set value. Stop the alarm and push the reset button. The next alarm that we are going to test is furnace overheat alarm. To test the alarm, simulate it by changing the set value in the furnace temperature controller. Set the parameter to E4 by pressing the power key. Press the arrow key to the number that you are going to change the value. Press down the arrow to lower the value and if the set value stop blinking, press the power key and the alarm sounded. Follow the same procedure to put back the set value. Stop the alarm and push the reset button. Lastly, the alarm that we are going to test is charging door opening alarm. To test the alarm, open the door of the waste oil incinerator or operate the door limit switch and the alarm sounded. To reset, close the door, stop the alarm, and push the reset button. And that's all for our incinerator safety device test. I hope this video helps to enlighten you. And most of all, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. God bless us all.